Hey everybody, Ben here from quantlabs.net. Uh, I'm going to be showing you our studio on Mac OS X. I'm using a R script that will be called from Python. Uh, the nice thing, I've shown these demos before with R, uh, where you can use Python to call an R script and then have all the return data uh, from the R session get stored and transferred it within a Python session, which is really good. Um, there's going to be some unique needs where I'll want to run some R scripts. Um, some of them may not exist or the equivalent of what I need to do in certain types of functionality may not ex exist in Python, but do exist in R and the transfer of the data is not too bad. Um, so there's going to be some functions in R that I'll be using where Python will call them. So this is one such example. Uh, in this case, uh, from here, uh, I'm actually using a R script uh, that will do uh, head and shoulders um, and display them in a plot. So. And this is for obviously for support and resistance. This is the only ones I've seen that could do this in R. So uh, I'm in R Studio, which is the standard IDE integrated development environment for R on any platform, uh, be it Linux, Windows, Mac. Um, and I just want to show you how easy it is to use and how to install certain R packages, which is a little easier. Actually, it's kind of easier through the R Studio because you can do it visually. Uh, to, to install your uh, R uh, package. So what I'm going to show you is this package is from this uh, source on GitHub um, and I'm also using this as the tutorial. Okay. So the first thing is you got to make sure before I use this particular uh, package, R package, I have to see what packages are currently in the source code. So if I go into the find, okay, uh, we want to look for any packages that the script is using. So obviously we see that we have quant mod and SM and that's pretty well it. So that's the only requirements that this script will need. Noted that here. So what you do is you come under install and you want to make sure you have quant mod installed. Now, the nice thing is obviously you can search for it within the package that is you type it in. So a um, couple of options here, which is nice. It'll install the dependencies for you. So just go install and you'll watch here um, that uh, you'll get your messages in the console. So let me do that again. Quant mod. Just see what's going on here. The problem with uh, R is everything gets very easily um, can easily get. So we want this one. So we want quant mod. So there you go. It's installing it now. You will sometimes get compatibility problems. I can't. I, I, this is one of the reasons why I don't. Well, in the old days, I didn't like. R and Python because of this, uh, with some packages depending upon your version of R. Um, so let me just show you what versions of R I'm probably running if you want to follow what I do. So right here in R, I'm using, I guess, R 3.23. So we've had some success here that the quant mod has been installed. Okay, so that's cool. So we have one other. Uh, package that we need to install the SM. So let's see if that's recognized. Yeah, it is. So we'll give that a whirl. And again, just keep your eyes peeled for the messages here. Um, it will build out the SM and whatever other packages you have. So we are able to run this script now. <laughs> the question is, which ones do I run? So uh, let me get back to you. Well, actually, I'm done with the video. What am I saying? Hopefully, I'll help you out in <laughs> installing our packages within our studio. All right. Have a good day.